हेलो एवरीवन सो बेसिकली द एजेंडा ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन ए एमएनसी एंड यू रिसीव योर वन प्रोजेक्ट लाइक योर करंट डिवाइसेस आर गेटिंग एंड ऑफ लाइफ ओके सो यू डोंट वांट टू अपग्रेड द लाइसेंस एंड यू हैव द सेपरेट डिवाइसेस इन योर एनवायरनमेंट सो you want to replace these existing device with the new one so those are the up to date license are uh, you can say those are the separate devices and uh, either you can say like uh, those are um, bcom from any other location and you want to replace those devices here okay so how you will achieve this this activity so we will discuss step by step all uh, about that activity so let's take example this is our one organization environment so let discuss like every organization have like uh, uh, suppose we have 5000 employees okay so in a diagram we created a layer 3 layer 2 and access layer switches right to uh, like on access uh, switches lan user will be connected and for the production wise for the security perspective we are using the checkpoint firewall okay and next is on left side if we have the external user right and uh, any warehouse uh, or different location and uh, they want to access our uh, web email and ftp server so we created dmz zone and for the security perspective like if you have a uh, uh to create a multiple uh, non so forwarding we are using the uh, fi load balancer in case any server goes down so another will take the backup of that right so this is our a simple scenario and <coughs> using the i rule you can use the for http to http redirection or any other uh, perspective uh, in the f5 you can say i to provide the encryption between client and server right you are filtering ssl inspection ips we can use on checkpoint file it could be palo alto it could be asa anything right these are our parameter switches and we have two isp bharti and tata both having the 50 uh, 5, 500 mbps isp link these are our two public ip so let's take example as i discussed okay so what is our task we want to replace these devices with our existing device so this is our task here so how we will achieve first of all you need to work on the uh standby device suppose let's take example this b is a standby device in our environment okay so you will work on this and on the separate devices like uh, we have the two separate devices what we need to do we need to configure the basic uh, we need to do the basic configuration on that okay so what will be the configuration we will step uh, we will discuss step by step here okay so this is our next video and in our previous video we we, we have discussed about the uh, like how we can move either you can say how we can place our uh, current devices with the newly devices okay so we have the existing devices we want to place these devices with the existing one so due to licensing issue or the spot is getting expired okay so okay let's take example this device is a uh, standby device okay uh, we need to take the backup configuration of first of all these devices and on other devices there will be some step okay so you need to connect those devices in a network uh, on management interface you can use avosend 
uh, when you will connect you, you you need to take the console after taking the console you need to check the ios configuration of that device and the modules you need to check that so you can easily place that devices device in the environment so first of all you need to check like the this version like suppose it's working on r80.10 okay and uh, now you can see r80.1.10 is uh, running so you need to upgrade the device on r80.10 either you can use r81 after upgrade the device during the time of epic so this is your old device and the firewall name is xyz and new firewall name is abc so we want to replace this device with this new device so in existing device uh, three interface are there and one is management management interface will be different and newly management interface will be different right so as i told uh, on new firewall you need to upgrade the ios with latest hotfix and simply you need to discuss with uh, network uh, on the switch uh, either you can um, you can discuss with network team or you can do on switch and you simply disable the this port connected port okay your management port will be up so that you can access the device from your network down this interfaces you need to enable this interface on that time so that you can access the devices this um, uh, firewall interfaces you can reach it okay so it will be your uh, l2 connectivity and so what will be will be your next step here right so you have enable the interface you need to simply check the connectivity okay if your connectivity is not happening you need to check the uh, physical connectivity with data center engineer you need to check that okay if uh, any no devices should be coming in the picture between both the firewalls right and um, <coughs> once you are physically connectivity complete you need to simply configure them uh, this firewall with your backup configuration so once your firewall will complete right you need to enable the cluster as well okay so if your old device is on the older version this one you need to enable the mvc as well multi version cluster on this firewall so that both devices can be in the same like uh, both will be different version but multi um, mvc provide the functionality right for the active standby scenario okay once your configuration will be completed you need to go on the management right on the management end you need to check the configuration like you need to check, check the status on the firewall end like um, you are placing this firewall in a environment so what will happen so existing the current device your new device will be come in the picture right so this will be your new device and you are simply placing that device here okay so that you need to check the configuration here reachability your sick communication right and after that you need to check the cphs uh, scon status as well your uh, hsrp or vrrp status here if you are running at vrrp you need to check the vrrp you need to check the you need to simply 
चेंज द ऑब्जेक्ट आर एटी वन बिकॉज यू आर ऑल्ड दिस वर्जन इज रनिंग ऑन आर एटी वन आर एटी डॉट टेन एंड लेटेस्ट इज रनिंग ऑन आर एटी वन फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट यू नीड टू सिंपली चेंज द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इन नेटवर्क मैनेजमेंट यू नीड टू डिफाइन द टोपोलॉजी ओके जस्ट फैच द टोपोलॉजी लेटेस्ट टोपोलॉजी एंड सिंपली पुल इंस्टॉल द पॉलिसी इंडिविजुअली आफ्टर इंस्टॉल द पॉलिसी यू नीड टू चेक द कॉन्फिग्रेशन लाइक ऑन दिस फायर वॉल द पॉलिसी विल बी फेल ड्यू टू वर्जन मिस मैच ऑन दिस फायर वॉल द पॉलिसी विल बी इंस्टॉल right so it, this is your active firewall this is your standby firewall okay so for um, before the failover okay you need to check this device is um, cpi chip prop status after push install the policy right everything we uh, should be up because after policy installation both will be running in a cluster so you can simply do the failover to make this standby device as a active and from your lan network you can reach any any machine like uh, on the dmz or any outside machine to check the uh, traffic is passing from this firewall or not once you will done the failover right so you need to check the basic configuration here or Uh, like uh, your SNMP status, your N N NTP, your radius uh, uh, connectivity, your user configuration, you can do that. so in our previous video we have discussed about the standby device replacement right with the new firewall so once your uh, standby device will be active in environment you can start the activity on the uh, peer end so on the peer end you need to do the same step okay so let's take example on the existing firewall you need to shut down the interface and on this firewall you need to enable the interface suppose this is your peer device okay so once you are interface will be up you can take the example it will be your standby device now because this will be your primary device b will be your primary and it will be your standby device so you need to disable the interface and on this peer and firewall this uh, set, uh, firewall which you have configured on r81 uh, r81 version you need to simply place here and you need to enable the interfaces after enable the interfaces you need to check the reachability cluster excel should be up enable on this right your sig communication should be enable on management side you need to device you need to add that you don't require to change the network configuration because you have already configured that okay you need to simply install the policy after install the policy you need to check the configuration right means your uh, sig communication your cluster excel status you need to check that and you have already run the ping command to any external device and once your this firewall will will be ready you need to do the basic step your uh, um, snmp your interface status uh, your um, admin credentials everything should be up to date
if you are running vrrp it takes um, 300 second 3 min to come up the to fetch all the configuration let's give it some time to firewall to all to fetch all the configuration after that you can check the sig um, from the management you need to install the policy you can do the individual or you can do the in a cluster as well so once your policy will be installed on this device you can disable the mvc because now both devices are in same version right and you can do the failover on this device and your ping is running you can check the connectivity from this device also your reachability should be fine so simply these are the way you can add your another device if your current device is getting end of life customer is not providing you support so you can th use those device in your network support this devices on under monitoring and check the uh, monitoring status if you have running the solar wind or any monitoring tool just check the status on that also that should be uh, your string should be worked if not you need to check that because these are on the different model after configuration you can simply you um, monitor the device 